I mean, I grew up in the church. Uh, I grew up in a Christian family, um, so was very involved in, in Sunday school and camp and all that kind of thing growing up. Um, and my mom is a very strong believer. Uh, she really kind of instilled that in us when we were young, um, but didn't really force it on us either. And so it was kind of an opportunity to just explore faith and grow um, as, as we got older. But actually, I started reading through the Bible um, quite a few years ago when my mom gave me a Bible that was kind of a, a year long, broken up, you know, by day. And it was kind of during college and I would, you know, start part of it and then stop and get distracted and get busy with other things. And I, I remember her telling me and I always kept in the back of my mind of, it's important to just keep working through it. Even if you fall behind or you get, you, you know, you lose a week or whatever, like pick it back up. But even then, you know, I would still get off by a summer or a year or whatever. It would go into a drawer when I moved and be like, oh yeah, I need to, need to get back to that. I've been at Clear Creek for a while. Um, was transitioning out of a previous small group and uh, so that was ending kind of going into the next season and uh, looking at a different group and um, the one I came across it the plan was over the course of the small group read through the Bible together um, and that just instantly I was like yes this is this is definitely what I want to do I had initially tried to read through the Bible on my own um, and you know I kind of start and stop and and whatnot here but once I was in the group doing it together, there's a lot more accountability of, okay, this week, this is what we're gonna talk about. And each week, uh, different perspectives come into play too. There's lots of different types of views and point of views in our, in our small group, which is awesome. Um, because then you hear other people's interpretations on things. I'm not very good with poetry and interpreting poetry or, or other types of literary works like that. I'm, a, I'm an engineer, you know, science-focused kind of person. So getting that kind of feedback has been really, really helpful for me to hear a different perspective and be like, oh, okay, I see how, why they might have written it this way and why this would be applicable to those people in that time and that culture. Um, so it really like pulls a lot of different things of the Bible together that I wouldn't have probably seen on my own if I hadn't, you know, heard other people's experiences in their reading through it. Especially on some of the harder sections of the Bible that maybe you read through them and you're just kind of like, well, that's, that doesn't apply to me, I move on. Um, but when you discuss it as a group and you keep looking back at like, how does this apply to me? It's in the Bible for a reason. Um, so it's, that's been really influential, like going through that and was an exciting thing for me to, to get into.